You've recently started a junk removal business and you want to know how to do the marketing to get new clients. Hi, my name is Mario Flores. I used to own a junk removal business, but now I run a full-time marketing agency for junk removal company owners. So it's safe to say that I've tried a lot of different marketing techniques that have worked and haven't worked. So I want to share some of those techniques with you now. This video will cover a lot of different types of marketing, not just online marketing, but you know, print marketing as well. If you feel like you're already using some of these marketing techniques, please feel free to skip ahead to the video. I will add timestamps down below. I urge you to watch this whole video though because I do explain some specific things that I do differently in these forms of marketing that could lead to success. So let's start off this list by covering something as basic as uh, business cards. Business cards are going to be really, really important for your business. You're going to be handing these out to potential clients as well as customers that you already have and are currently servicing. Now the reason why it's important to pass out business cards is because not everybody is going to remember the name of your business or how to get a hold of you. I've had so many customers in the past say that the only reason they reached back out to us is because they found their business card either in a purse or in their wallet that they had totally forgot about. Um, so another trick to business cards is that you're going to add your QR code for your links on the back of it. This is a really good way of you ensuring that you get those Google reviews because let's face it, a lot of people say they're going to leave you a review, but they don't get around to it or they don't know how to figure it out. It's just, it's tedious. So let's make it less tedious by creating a QR code shortcut link to leaving that review. I'm going to be giving away a lot of downloadable files and these specific marketing materials. So if you're interested in downloading my specific template for my business cards, all you have to do is head over to junkremovalmoney.com and go to the tab that says uh, marketing materials. So that will be listed on the website for you. I will also have videos showing you exactly how to edit the file so that it fits your business and your color scheme and your logo. The next thing I want to cover is magnets. So when I first started, I was handing out a lot of business cards, but maybe like six months into it, I decided to make magnets. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to make sure that the people that were going to be using our services more frequently had an easy way to remember our phone number or just remember us in general. So what I did is I created magnets for people like property managers to hang up on filing cabinets. So it just makes it easier for you to stay top of mind. On a side note, a great way to get new commercial accounts would be going to storage facilities and handing out your price sheets as well as your information and giving them a magnet because it is going to help you stand out from the rest of the people that are trying to get on a vendor's list because not everybody gives out magnets and it's easy for them to remember who you are because they're going to have it on a, on a filing cabinet or somewhere in plain sight. The next thing that I want to cover are flyers and door hangers. And there's a specific way you want to be using this. You want to be putting them out on five of the homes that you're currently working at. So if you're working at a home and you really like this part of town and getting work there, you're going to want to take the time after you've completed the job there and hang up some flyers or door hangers on the surrounding homes. Now I have created a downloadable file for you to download for flyers on my website. I'll also have a video on the website on how to edit that file so that it fits your business. Next on the list are A-pillar signs. A-pillar signs are a great way to get more business um, while you're at a job. And what you're going to do is you're going to get an A-pillar sign. I'm going to put up an example here on the screen somewhere. You're going to want to put up a sign that says junk removal in progress. And you're going to want to put up all the information on how they can get a hold of you as well as a QR code if they want to book online. If you don't have a book online option, I suggest using something like House Call Pro. They're a great option for booking online. It's simple to set up. If you need help with that, please give me a call. My information will be down below. The reason this works, honestly, is because sometimes there's people walking around a neighborhood and they do see your truck, um, but they, they get kind of nosy. They want to know what's going on and, and what the service is. And so the sign really attracts those people to see what's going on at that specific home and if they might need to use the service as well. So now we're going to make the transition into more of the online marketing strategies and we're going to start off our list by talking about Craigslist. Now Craigslist is not the best form of advertising online and I'm sure a lot of you guys understand why. There's just a lot of cheap clients and a lot of people who want to haggle with you. The reason that I do think it's important to use Craigslist is because if you're a new company and this is your first business and you don't really know exactly what you're doing out there as far as 
how to do the jobs, how to bid the jobs, and how to be comfortable running this business, then you're going to want to start off somewhere where it's not super expensive to get customers, right? And it's more of a practicing tool. So if you're still at the very beginning stages of your business where you're still trying to figure out structure as far as how to price jobs, how to talk to customers, how to complete jobs, and really how to not make big mistakes, then I suggest utilizing Craigslist to practice and get better at your craft. I do have a course here on YouTube. It's titled 101 course. I will leave a link for one of the videos here that I think is very helpful, which is the one on how to price drunk junk removal jobs. Um, I'll leave a link for it somewhere up here. And this isn't to say that um, this course will teach you everything or that you won't make any mistakes along the way because I do feel like no matter what I do teach you, at some point you will come up with a challenge that will be inevitable and the only real way you're going to learn from it is by going through it. But if you're interested in learning the basics about junk removal and making less mistakes, then I suggest for you to watch the one-on-one -on -one course. It's totally free and it's here on YouTube. Next on the list, um, I decided to mention some of the lead generation sites like Yelp and Thumbtack. And we're going to throw these all into one category. Um, you could also say that Angie's List could be on this category as well as some of the other ones. The reason that I mention uh, Yelp and Thumbtack is because with my experience, out of all the lead generation sites, those ones have been the two best ones for me. They weren't necessarily amazing, but they did produce some results. Now the thing that I want to mention with these specific sources of marketing is that it doesn't work in every city the same exact way. And what I mean by that is in California Yelp might be really really like popular and a lot of people might want to use Yelp and then in other smaller cities and states people might not really be utilizing Yelp. So you kind of, what I like to say is that you kind of have to try everything at least one time and see what works for you and your business in your specific part of the country. Next on my list is going to be Facebook marketing and specifically free ways to market your business on Facebook. So one of my favorite tools to use on Facebook is groups. If you go to Facebook and you type in groups in a specific city or state, you're going to get a lot of groups that are usually like community groups, groups where there's 60, 70,000 people who live in a specific community and like to update people on events or things that are happening within their community. The reason this is important is because you're able to sign up for these groups. You got to read their terms and conditions and their guidelines. Some of these groups do not like spammy um, posts about businesses. Um, so you have to read those conditions. Some of them do allow you to post. My biggest um, pointer would be to not over post in these groups and to sound authentic when you're posting. And the other thing that I do want to mention is that you don't want to be posting pictures of junk or a picture of a trailer with junk in it. Realistically, the best way that you want to get attention in these groups is take a selfie of yourself. Maybe take a selfie with like your truck or trailer behind you um, doing a job maybe. But the reason why this is important is because when people are scrolling through Facebook, they are looking to connect with friends or family. So say they see an actual person smiling, they might stop for a second and say, who is this person? What are they trying to say? What are they trying to sell even? They'll just take the time to actually read your post at that point. So it's really important that you do something like this because it is going to increase the chances of you getting work. And I've seen it time and time again that this does work as long as you do it correctly. Now on the subject of Facebook, there of course you guys know about Facebook ads and Facebook ads do work for some industries and I've ran Facebook ads in multiple industries because I used to own an e-commerce business before so I'm very familiar with how Facebook ads work now the reason that I don't like to use Facebook ads for junk removal is because they're not search intent based ads these ads will be displayed to anyone and everyone regardless of if they're interested in the service or not right so Basically, you have no control whether that person is interested in junk removal. They might be, they might not be. The reason that I don't like it though is because at that point you're, sh you're displaying an ad to somebody who isn't in need of the service necessarily and who might see it as, I, I do kind of need this, but they're not willing to pay a premium for the service yet because they're, they're not in the market for it at the moment. So. If you are convinced that you want to use Facebook ads, uh, one word of advice, do not boost a post. You really want to use the um, ads manager and 
promote a post that way so don't boost it and you're just gonna have a lot more um, you're just gonna have a lot more control of what you can do with the Facebook ads and there's a ton of resources here on YouTube where you can learn how to run um, efficient Facebook ads um, the right way and I urge you to maybe do a little bit of research on how to run Facebook ads the right way. Next on my list is going to be Google Ads and Google Ads really is a, a good way to start your business. It's going to be a good way to rank at the top of Google without having to wait for SEO to kick in or your website to be fully optimized. It's going to give you a good place to start and I think it led to a lot of my success with my junk removal company. Within the first year I did $250,000 and that was mostly because of Google Ads. So if you're a fairly new business or you're a business that's been around for a few years and maybe you have used Google Ads but you didn't really see a good result from it, then I urge you to get a hold of me at 503-914-7250. We could take a look at your campaign and see if there's anything that we can do because if Google Ads is optimized the right way, it does work and it does yield a big return on your investment um, in comparison to these other forms of marketing. If you want to know more about Google Ads and want a more in-depth explanation of what that is and how I can help your business, um, I urge you to watch this video over here. We will be talking more about Google Ads in that video for junk removal business. But on to the next thing on my list. The next thing on the list is going to be Google in general, ranking organically in Google. So there's two places that you can rank organically and we're going to go over the first one which is the GMB. If you don't know what a GMB listing is, there's going to be a video somewhere here on the screen breaking down the way that Google is structured, okay? So at the very top of Google, you have Google Ads. Slightly below that, you have the Google My Business listing, and that's really where the map is. Below that, you have the organic search listings right there. And those, are, uh, those lead directly to websites. Now, the reason that the Google My Business listing is so important is because you can actually get a Google My Business set up completely free. And I know that a lot of you guys understand what Google My Business is and are familiar with Google My Business, but if you're a new business owner and you've never been exposed to having a service-based business or don't really, you don't really have the need to know all this, then it is going to be new information for you. And I talk to thousands and thousands of junk removal owners and I was surprised how many of them didn't even know what I was talking about. And then when I explain it to them like this, I'm like, hey, do you ever look like for Mexican food near me or something? And then you look in the little map area and then there's the star ratings and, and those listings. I'm like, that's what I'm talking about. And you can have one of those listings for junk removal. So if you haven't set up a Google My Business listing, you need to set one up right away. It's free to do. It's pretty simple to do. There are a couple of things that you do want to set up correctly because there are two things you could do, right? You can optimize the listing to rank better and you could also mess up the listing by getting suspended for setting it up incorrectly the first way. So I will leave a link up here again for a video that I did on how to get unsuspended if you've been suspended for your Google My Business listing. So I urge you to watch that video because you could avoid some of the mistakes that could lead to a suspension of your GMB um, later down the road, right? So you don't want to create a Google My Business listing, have it be working, and then have hundreds of reviews and then have it be suspended overnight. Right? But if you don't have a Google My Business listing, you need to get one. You need to start getting reviews for that listing. Um, and that's part of the business card strategy is having a link there so that people can actually go see the listing and leave you a review so that you're building up those reviews um, for trust. So the last thing on my list is going to be websites and SEO and they go hand in hand. Um, so if you don't already have a website for your business, this is going to be one of the most important things that you have to set up for the business. So what I like to explain to people when they're starting this business is that you know, it's not a very difficult business to start because anybody can go out and get a trailer and a truck, right? And they can load the trailer and truck with junk. But if they can't market themselves online, then they're never going to be able to get that work. And so one of the biggest struggles that I see in this industry is people are going out and they're either creating a website themselves on GoDaddy, the website doesn't rank, um, but they just wanted to get something up there and, you know, how, do it for cheap. Because GoDaddy is really cheap to do to start up, but it's not a good source for your business to grow because 
GoDaddy gives you very limited tools to be able to rank for SEO. Unless you know about the industry and you know about SEO and how to build websites effectively, then I suggest you outsource this because you're going to be spending more time trying to figure this out while you're also trying to do junk removal jobs and at a certain point you're going to get overwhelmed. Now the biggest thing when you're choosing a company to do this for you, you're going to be wanting to look for a company that's specific to our industry. And the reason why this is important is because unless they know our industry, then they're not going to really know what to rank for. On a side note, you want to choose a company that isn't just a graphic design company. Once you choose a company that's just graphic design, then they were making the website look aesthetically pleasing, but it's never going to rank for any of the search terms that you want to rank for, such as junk removal and then a city. And the reason why all of this is important is because I've seen it time and time again. Once you have a website built by someone who doesn't know the industry, you're going to come eventually to somebody like me, who is specific to junk removal. And just like any other company that would be handling your SEO, they're going to tell you, hey, you know what, the website needs to be remade in order to rank for those search terms. And it's a lot easier for us to just remake a website than it is to go and fix somebody else's mistakes. And this is very common in our industry. I've had lots of people come to me finally after creating three or four websites, you know, because they've had the wrong people create them the first time. So if you're wondering if your website ranks for the search terms that it should, or if there are things that you're overlooking, I do free website audits. So please feel free to reach out to me at 503-914-7250. I will also leave a link for my website down below that you can go check out. And I'll also leave my email address down below. But really these are the most important things you should be focusing on. And as a way for me to say thank you for watching this video to the end, I will leave a link for a video that you can watch right here that will teach you how I get commercial accounts. This is just another marketing technique that will help you gain commercial accounts, such as property managers, real estate agents, that sort of stuff. And this is what's going to build that bottom line to your business and get you repeat customers. So head over to watch that video. You will also need to download my free marketing letter that's on my website. This is the letter that you're going to be using to implement this strategy. So head over to drunkmoolmoney.com. There will be a red box somewhere in the middle of the website that says download our free marketing letter here. Feel free to use that letter. And it is a numbers game. I will urge you to understand that you can't just send out five emails and expect big results. This is going to be a numbers game and if you put in the work you're going to see results. I've had hundreds of people tell me um, that they're gaining commercial accounts and growing their business by utilizing this marketing letter and this strategy. I want to say thank you for watching my videos. If this information was helpful and you found value in it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I appreciate you guys watching my videos and I will see you in the next one.